What's going on? Welcome back to another Film Room. I'm Lawrence Owen, and this Film Room is going to be about the Indianapolis Colts' front seven against the New England Patriots, their pass rush, and their run stopping. What was good? What wasn't so good? Let's get into it. We got some playmakers, but we also got some things we need to fix. Let's get into it. Don't forget, smash that like button. DeForest Buckner is such an amazing player on the defensive line. Uh, and with Grover Stewart out, he has to step up his game in order to be that dude. Uh, he's typically known to being a three-tech. But in this instance right here, he plays the one-tech. And he has to play this one-tech with Grover Stewart out even more often than what he normally does. You're going to see, being the fact that he is the best guy on the defensive line, you're going to see him lined up all the time in all different positions of the field, right? But right now he's at the one tech, which means he's got to handle that double team. He's got to be able to handle the double team, not give up um, any yardage, and be able to at least clear this. But he does even more than that here as we watch this play. Oh, what a fantastic job. Absolutely fantastic job. Now, as we watch this play develop, you can see he takes on that double team dead on. Bam. Got the guy over here. And what he does is he does a fantastic job. What he's doing is he's putting his left shoulder on the outside guy. All right. Knowing that, hey, my job is to hold this line. So he's got his left shoulder in. He's got his right foot planted. He is not going anywhere. That is leverage. That's what he's using. He's using that massive 300 pounds, six foot seven, six foot eight build to use leverage against these guys. And what he does here is absolutely great. He knows, hey, Zaire Franklin's in the middle, right? In order for this run to happen, this guy has to come off of him or this guy has to come off and hit Franklin. So he's watching him right now, watching. Feeling. Oh, look, he's coming off of him. He's coming out to hit Franklin. So now look what he does. He keeps his body sideways and he's leaning. Watch, he lean in, plants, leans in, takes the tackle. Oh my goodness. That is freaking fantastic. He even helps, he even helps the guy right into Franklin because he knows, hey, this is my spot right here. This is my job. He takes him, he wraps him up. He corrals him. He brings him down solo. Now, granted, that's a yard gain, but not bad for just, you know, making the tackle off a double team, right? Defoe does so much it never reaches the stat books, right? I mean, yes, you get tackles. You know, you get sacks. You get TFLs, right? Things of that nature. But the force provides so much more, including pressures, uh, he gets in, he, he forces a quarterback out of the pocket, which allows for cleanup sacks for other guys. You know, he redirects running backs that are in the hole, that kind of stuff. Let's watch him right here at his traditional three-tech one-on-one -on -one against the left guard. Uh, dude, that's that's not a that's not what you want. You 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 cannot put one guy on the force Buckner, expect him to just hold on. There's just no way. What a fantastic job here. Watch. He fakes inside, and then he uses his left arm for a swat and then swims with his right arm. It is absolutely beautiful. Watch. Here comes the swat and then the swim right next. That is fan-freaking-tastic. Uses, uses the left tackle as leverage as he's being pushed by the guard. Gets in between, and then it just explodes. Uses his body and size to explode. Mac knows he's coming. Matt, he's got to get rid of the ball before the running back is even turning to look for it, right? He's got to get rid of the ball before the running back is even ready for it. He throws this, sees it a little too late, unable to make the completion, all because DeForest Buckner got back there and made a play that's not on a stat sheet. Again, what are you doing trying to block DeForest Buckner one-on-one? -on -one? He's even at the one. He's at the one. Look, all right. The tackle is going to come in to try to get him. The guard is more worried about getting to the second level than anything. Watch what happens. Nah. Nah, bro. Ooh, good try on the cutback, though. The running back here does a good job 
trying like heck to make, he sees the force coming in. And if, if he's able to cut back away from him, you got a blocker out front in front of, uh, you know, Julian Blackman. If he's able to get, make that cut back, he's got open room. He's got, he's got running room. The force has got the wingspan of a freaking eagle. I mean, er, nope, nope, nope. Got you, bro. Oh, there you go. DeForest again, showing you what he does. I promise you, this is not a DeForest Buckner film room, though. Let's 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 keep going. Remember, I talk about cleanup sacks. Get some cleanup sacks. This is a great job by all three of these players right here. All right, all three. Number ninety-two, Dio, and of course. Defo. Let's watch. Number 92 actually gets the beat here. Watch the play. Fan freaking tastic. All right, so we get back. As we see, the guy playing left in, he beats this guy. This is this is not right. This they're worth the, he both you guys sitting there watching this. What 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 what's up with that? Defo sees his guy is beating him. Right? He's got to do something quick. Oh, no, nah, dog. Look at that. that. was nasty. He just, like, ole! You know? Just pushed him out to the side. Which means now, you got Dio Dangbo, who's been dealing with a double team this whole time. Now you can just push outside. And gets a free cleanup set. Because original pressure, extra pressure, cleanup. Indianapolis Colts have got good pressure defensive line, right? They do. They can get in there. They can get sacks. They're top 10 in the NFL in sacks. I think they're eighth right now. The question is, there's a lot of other stuff that they need to work on. Dio earned his sacks. Even on the cleanup on the last one, it was earned, all right, because he beat a double team in order to get in the spot to stop Mac Jones. Uh, after the initial pressure happened here, he does a fantastic job of just getting against one-on-one. -on -one. Now, granted, it's not a double team, but when you're one-on-one -on -one and a defensive lineman, you got to be able to win that matchup, right? Let's watch Dio, of course, sitting at the one tech. Now, technically, that's not the one. That's the three uh, on the outside, okay? But let's watch. Oh, nice swim. Cuts inside, trips him up. Good job. This this whole job right here, he beats him off the snap. Right here. Lines up. Sets him. Cuts inside hard. Swats with that right, right arm. Swims with the left. Now, he's tripped up right here at the end. But he uses his forward momentum to dive at his feet. Might have been a trip there. Right there. Might have been a trip. But the hand got there first. Right here. Swats that back foot right there. Bam. And then the leg comes out and taps his left foot. Two feet not being able to move. Lucky we didn't get called for tripping on this play, to be fair. But he did a really good job of beating his man, getting in there, getting the pressure, getting the tack. Great sack. Man, you got to give, like, I wish there was assists in football. Because Tyquan Lewis definitely earns the assist here. All right, If you flush the quarterback into the waiting arms of another defensive guy for a cleanup sack, it is what it is, okay? Now, you're going to watch Dio. He's going to, you know, he's going to stunt inside. And Taekwon is just going to beat his guy out around the outside. Let's watch the play. Beautifully done. Forced him right into Dio's hands. So, the fact of the matter is, if you watch Taekwon here, he beats this left tackle like nobody's business. Good job. Gets, gets the outside edge and then just shoves in. Gets the wide edge. 
and that forces him in. But Dio, on the other hand, on this stunt, comes back in, does a fantastic job of... Now, that's a good pickup here. But because you got three guys, three defenders against three blockers, it's not it's not two on one or four on three or nothing like that. That's tight right there. And Dio is at full speed. And he's just going to burrow his way. And this is a bull rush. He's going to knock him back fully. Keeps pushing him back right into Jones. But Taekwon's coming up from behind. His best bet is to cut back this way. But, no. Nah. He walks right into the waiting arms. And one of these, one of those two guys was getting that sack without question. It was Dio or Taekwon. Dio gets it. Taekwon should have got an assist. Great job by both guys. Great job. All right, again, let's watch this play. All right, keep an eye on DeForest Buckner. This is nasty. He's lined up over the left tackle. He beats the left guard inside. That's just nasty. Again, he's not getting any kind of credit for this. That is a completion. That is an eight-yard completion. But I just want to state something here. All right. DeForest Buckner's pressure legitimately keeps us from being a first down pass. Okay? Because if you watch, first off, his ability right here to beat him. Look how long that stride is. Right off the get. Just massive, long stride. He just comes in, lowers that shoulder, wretches his arm up. Then we got hands up. Watch, watch the hands. It'll keep going up, 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 up. Now it's up underneath the face mask. I don't see how he doesn't call that. But because he got in there quick enough, it forces Jones to get rid of this ball before he wanted to. And it threw it a little bit behind the guy. Had it thrown it a little out in front instead of behind, that's a first down. Because he threw it behind him, he had to turn around, catch the ball off awkward, off balance, then he has to fall down to the ground. If it wasn't for Buckner's pressure there, that's a first down every time. Again, he does so much that just does not get credit for. Taekwon Lewis is absolutely fantastic. I can't think of a better guy to back up defensive ends. All right, whether left or right, doesn't matter. All right, this guy could be a starter in the league, in my opinion. You got Taekwon down here. Obviously, you see three tight ends, right? That's here's the thing. Here's the deal about New England. At this point, they're running a lot of three tight end formations. They got three tight ends. They got three decent tight ends. They got two really good ones and one okay tight end. So they're going to run a lot of tight ends. And the fact of the matter is, tight ends help a lot when, especially in the run game, when you got a light defense like the Colts have right now, especially without Grover Stewart in. So, Bill Belichick was smart. He used three, two or three tight ends the entire game. The entire game. Taekwon Lewis does a fantastic job with th a bunch formation of tight ends right in front of him. And not a single one of them blocks him. Not a single one blocks him. But there's a bunch of traffic and he gets through it. Watch what happens. And then, of course, what he does to this running back is just nasty. <laughs> Come on. Come on. All right, so the traffic initially, as we watch this play, it is just great. One tight end comes up. The other one comes out. Watch what he does. He just pushes and goes forward. Runs right through. Now, he sees the running back squaring up against him. So, watch what he does. He fakes to the outside. Sees the running back going low. Now, a lot of def defensive people, a lot of people in the NFL complain about this. Right? A lot of people think it's unfair that offensive players 
can dive down around the knees of a defensive guy to get like, you know, that kind of a block. Taekwon does exactly what you're supposed to do. He gets his hands out. Bam. Gets that leg up in the air. Doesn't even lose momentum. Gets in. Boosh, like a missile. And wraps him up. That is. A1 stellar pass rush. Right there. By Taekwon Lewis. And teach tape. How to defeat that type of block. It's got to be so frustrating for DeForest Buckner when he gets a, gets pressure, forces the quarterback um, out of the pocket, and you get a missed tackle, right, for a sack. That's got to be so frustrating. Again, DeForest Buckner right here, three tech makes makes a play. Let's watch this. This is this is freaking amazing. Mac Jones shouldn't. This should have been another sack tacked on by far. All right. Good job forcing him in. And then, yeah. Pay gets credited. But come on. All right. Because of how bad he's beat. Now, he's stuck inside. Max sees him. He's, he, he's beat. He's beat. He knows he's beat. He gets squished, though. If this wasn't, if this right here wasn't a bull rush, if they had communicated a little bit better and. You know, he would have told him, hey, I'm going to the outside. I want you to take outside. Don't bull rush. Or if Buckner would have, you know, he said, I'm going to bull rush. I'm going to go, uh, Buckner, go outside. He should loop around and come around that way, right? But either way, this is miscommunication between the three and the defensive end. But Buckner still beats him. Scares the living daylights out of Jones, all right? Because you can see he's, he's, he's breaking through. He's breaking through here. And knocks down the left tackle doing so, which frees up, frees up Ibukam. Okay. Jones now has to be forced up into the pocket because Buckner, you know, forced him up. Ibukam's got to make this tackle. He's got to make this. Jones, swoop, nope. He just took him on a tilt-a-whirl ride. Really? Mac Jones isn't some big, super strong dude. Now, I, I like Samson Ibukam, but he failed there dramatically. He he should go, after this play, he should have a dunce cap on. That, that, that was not a good situation right there. Somehow pay because of this whole situation. He should just run straight up. I don't understand why Mac Jones doesn't turn straight up field right here and just starts running. Why not? Why not? And then slide whenever, you know, Baker gets close. No. He's trying to squeeze behind an offensive lineman. And then ends up running right into him. Can you not see there's a dude there? Can you not see? So, fail play by Ibukam. I don't... Is, is, is the, was, was this whole situation between Buckner and Ibukam screw up Matt Jones so much? That he just ran right into his own guy and gives Pay the opportunity to bring him down? I don't know. I don't, this could be a play. I mean, if I would have saw that, I would have been like, what is wrong with my quarterback? It's like he got concussed without even getting hit in the head. Like he didn't even know what was going on out there. Nah, heat of the moment, I guess. So at this point of the game, Bill Belichick pretty much takes the game out of... of you know, the hands of Mac Jones because, let's face it, the Colts' defensive line has been getting pressure on Jones all game, getting pressures, hits, sacks. I mean, they got like over 40% pressure rate in this game. Which is very, very good. And as I said earlier, Bill Belichick loves to run two and three tight end sets. On this play, you see these two tight ends lined up on the outside here. Their goal at this point in the second half, run the ball. Run the ball against a light defense. As you can see, you know, the Colts, especially without Grover Stewart sitting right here, we got a light defense all the way across, all right? Uh, linebackers are anywhere between 220 and 230, you know. Uh, your defensive ends are like 230, 240, and your tackles are like 275, you know, unless the Force Buckner's out there. 
and without Grover Stewart to anchor, you're in trouble. Well, they do a good job of run blocking. And they they the run blocking on this play is absolutely fantastic. Uh, two guys just get blown right out of the picture. You got your three tech right here and Zaire Franklin. Let's watch the play. I mean, just blown clean out of the play. If it wasn't if it wasn't for Daryl Baker right there, that that play might have been huge. All right, Baker does a good job of stopping. It's still a big gain. It's still like eight nine yards or so. But oh my goodness, watch 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 what happens here. He just gets ridden right out. Ridden right out. And now we go back and watch what happens to Zaire. Watch what happens. Start off with a double team, and then the center comes up on Zaire Franklin, and Franklin just gets mowed right out of the way. And it allows the big cutback. And <clears throat> Hate to say it, Rodney Thomas completely whiffed on that one. And Baker does a good job of just getting down, grabbing the feet, tripping him up, right? That's exactly what he just did. Did an absolutely fantastic job of reaching back right here, right there. He just reached back, grabbed the foot, tripped him up. Good job. Had he not done that, he might have outran. Look, I mean, he saved a touchdown because he's not catching him. He has to make this tackle. Has to. And Baker, I've been all about Baker not doing a good job making tackles. That's a good tackle by Daryl Baker Jr. Saved a touchdown because that's open field all the way down the line. Nah. Again, sitting here, you know, two tight end formation, one on each end. Watch what they do. Look, you don't have to get eight, nine yards of carry. If you get four yards, if you just bulldoze people, if you're able to just bulldoze the defenders and pick up three, four, five yards, that's a successful run each and every time. And that's exactly what they do here. They double team down on DeForest Buckner. Colts do a good job swarming in there to get get in there. But everybody falls forward because bigger bodies. Bigger bodies fall forward. And that's exactly what happened. You're picking up five yards. That's a, yeah, I'll take five yards all day. Bill Belichick understood this. That's why he went to the run game. Started to scare me a little bit. All right, I was having flashbacks of like Jonas Gray and stuff like that back in the early 2000s. <laughs> Glad we didn't have that. 167 yards, still a lot of yards rushing, but it's not like 250, 275. Here we go again. My goodness, three tight end formation. You got two tight ends over here, one tight end over here. You got seven men in the box. And you got your base. Base formation against eight blockers. This should absolutely be a win for the Patriots. Absolutely be a win for the New England Patriots, right? Because they got more blockers than we got defenders in the box. Plus the running back, right? Zaire has a shot at making a tackle in the backfield, but gets tripped up. Let's watch. Oh, right there. Oh, he had him. Oh, he had him, and instead it becomes a nice chunk yardage play. Zaire got tripped up. Defoe does a fantastic job of handling the double. Right, right here. Right. Look at it, look at it. It's just a bunch of people. They clog the run lane. Zaire had him. Oh, Zaire, you had him. You had him, and right here he trips. Right there, over the back foot. Over the back foot, trips him up. Because had he not, he's lighting him. This, the whole reason why he had to go this way was because Zaire was in the hole, right? But Zaire got tripped up. And had he not got tripped up, that's a massive tackle for loss. Good job by him avoiding it. And then bouncing back inside to the vacated area that Zaire is not in anymore, right? Now, my question is, why, why aren't you... Stepping over. Huh? 
Number 92. Look, he's being held back. Got an arm behind him. He's pushing him in. He's not pulling him out. He's pushing him in. That's that's crazy. He's holding him in spot. Come on now. That's 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 holding. That's holding bigger than crap. But oh well. Guess who ends up making the play anyhow? Man, that's crazy. Right? I mean that's crazy. Zaire had to get right back up and make the tackle. He got tripped, fell, got back up, turned around, made the tackle. Still got chunk yardage, but somehow Zaire's the only... It's, it's, Zaire makes the... That's... Man, that is non-stop motor. And that's why Zaire is a stud in, in on this defense. All right? 